Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to limit CPU usage of a program in Windows. Now, this will be a very handy thing because if any of your application is taking too much CPU resources, so this will be very helpful. You just need to do a right click in your start icon. And if you're using uh, Windows 10, then you can do a right click on the taskbar. So I just have done the right click on the start icon and I can go to task manager and here we have many options and we need to go to details tab. So here I have found the details tab and I'll click on that. Now let's say if my explorer.exe or any gaming or any application which I want um, to limit then what I can do is I just need to do a right click on that particular application which is running and then after doing the uh, right click I need to go to the set priority so from here you can select normal you can select below normal or you can select low and if you want to set a priority for your application or game like if you're using um, Google Chrome or any video editing software photo editing software and you want to give preference to it then you can simply do a right click on that particular application and just do a right click go to set priority and you can select high so i would not uh, recommend to go for a real time because it will start using uh, the cpu usage in real time basis However, if you select high, that will be way good. That that will be enough. But it, even if you want to select real time, you can just test it out. Just for the test purpose, you can try real time. However, high is enough and you can select high like that. The moment you select that, it will say, do you want to change the priority of this? And I can click on change priority. So in this manner, you can limit the usage of any application all right and you can also give higher priority or lower priority so i hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have successfully done that i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day